So the other week, Boogie1488 was exposed for most likely faking his cancer diagnosis by Destiny on the Lolcow Live live stream. It was a very interesting stream and definitely worth a watch as not only Destiny joined, but Mr. Medica, Turkey Tom, Nicholas Diorio, and Mudar. Great stream overall. But I would like to focus on one point in the stream that interested me very much. Around the 3 hour and 25 mark, Turkey Tom jo joins the stream and Wings asks Tom why him and Boogie had a falling out while Tom was filming a documentary at Boogie's house. Oh, God, Tom, Tom, Boogie said you and him had a falling out when you went and visited him at home. What was that about? Uh, well, uh, Boogie would have to reveal that. It's not my story to tell, mm. but it certainly wouldn't, it certainly wouldn't make him look good. But, uh, well, I wouldn't say it was a falling out. I was okay with him by the end of it, but I tried to film a documentary, a documentary with him, and he made a allegation to me that I could not substantiate, but... You're talking about Frank Hassel, right? Oh, yeah, I know. What I this uh, is. Then everybody knows what it is. Everybody knows what it yeah. is. Yeah. Do you? Okay. Well, yeah, I, I, he's, I, I, he's, I, he's talked well, about it before. When, when he well, said that Hassel uh, did something to some girl, you know, that, yeah. that, that, that drove him over there. Yeah, and was, there's another guy out there accusing Frank of that too right now, though. You know, Boogie was like, I don't have any proof, but it's real. And I was like, okay, what the fuck are you talking about? And yeah, what the fuck? So, yeah, I just, I got out. There, there was more than that. It was like he beat a girl, and then he also would, like, date at someone underage or, or was flirting with someone underage. It was a whole thing. Now, in this clip, it makes it clear Boogie has been throwing around allegations about Frank Castle to other YouTubers. By the way, I could not find a single case of Frank being accused of any wrongdoing similar to what Boogie was reportedly alleging in this clip. In fact, the only thing I could find was Nicholas Diorio posting a tweet from Boogie saying something similar about Frank Castle to what was explained in the last clip. For a little added context, this tweet seems to be pretty old. I think he posted it around the time Frank appeared at his home to film the Hassle video. So the tweet reads, Now that I'm no longer on probation, I can speak freely. I'm aware of something Frank has done and that the internet, for good reason, will never know about. I can't speak of them publicly, and neither will the other people involved. Blah blah blah, I should have shot Frank. Now since we know what Boogie's talking about with this tweet, the question is why the hell did he post this publicly if he doesn't want the internet to know what he's talking about, and why the hell does he want it to stay private? Unless Keem and the others on the podcast are lying, according to Boogie, Frank flirts with underage girls and beats women. Why the hell would he not want this to be public? He brought it to my attention. I have no evidence, no proof. I'm not in contact with anyone making the allegation. It's literally Boogie's word of mouth. And I said, Boogie, if this is true, go tell the internet. And he wouldn't do it. Yeah, he said, he remember, remember the excuse he gave? He said that um, he didn't want like the, 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 I'm gonna protect the victim here. Oh, so he's retarded then. Also, I'd like to know if the, the victim went to uh, Boogie with her abuse stories. Like, why, why the hell did she go to him? If she knew about the beef him and Frank were in at the time, she would at least know who Boogie is and, like, how much of a complete retarded ass and nigger he is. Like, why not go to the police, though? Like, well, anyway, um, uh, that's mostly everything talked about Frank on the LolCow Live, uh, live stream. But I have a conspiracy about this whole thing. Okay. So, if you listen to the allegations that Boogie was reportedly talking about behind the scenes, you can make parallels with the allegations Boogie was spreading about Frank Hassel and another set of allegations about another creator. Now, if you rewatch the original Boogie vs Frank Hassel video where Frank goes to Boogie's house and Boogie shoots a warning shot in his home neighborhood, you'll notice <laughs> that Boogie calls Frank the name Sam multiple times. You fat f***ing Oh my yes, god. Yes, he's here to look at the air conditioner, Sam. I'm asking you to leave, Sam. Sam? Cameron, I don't know your f***ing name. Now, I'm pretty sure every internet autist retard like me knows who Sam Hyde is and the fact that Frank Castle has collaborated with Sam on multiple occasions. I'll say that. Would you like to hear some caroling? No. <laughs> Why? I'm pretty sure the reason Frank became popular is because he joined MDE. MDE stands for Million Dollar Extreme and is Sam Hyde's comedy group. Now, even though I'm a fan of Sam Hyde, I'm not going to shy away from the fact that he has some pretty serious allegations about him. 
I won't talk too in-depth about Sam's allegations, but a quick rundown from what I could make of from these allegations is that Sam had sexual relations with a girl who's underage and beat her as well. I must clarify, these are allegations, and in my personal opinion, we don't know exactly the context of these pictures, and we don't know if these texts are real or not. So at the moment, I'm going to wait until we get more evidence of what exactly happened here before I say whether or not he's innocent or guilty. Because I don't think we truly know enough information yet of what these pictures are or what the texts are or anything. I have quite a bit of the evidence on stream so you can make of it what you will. But I'm pretty sure there's more stuff about it floating around online. And you can research that on your own time if you're interested. I just want to talk about Boogie and Frank at the moment. Okay, so back to the Lolcow podcast. Just have a quick listen to what Keem said about Frank and Boogie. There was more than that. It was like he beat a girl and then he also would like date at someone underage or, or was flirting with someone underage. It was a whole thing. And do you see how similar these allegations are to each other? So they both allegedly flirted or had sexual relations with someone underage and they both allegedly beat women. So my conspiracy is that Boogie saw the Sam Hyde allegations online and mistook Sam Hyde for Frank Castle again and then started spreading the allegations saying it was Frank instead of Sam. Either as an extreme form of stupidity or malicious intent to smear Frank Castle because of the beef they were in. So that's my conspiracy. Either way, Boogie is a fat fag that lies about basically everything and anything. So even if my conspiracy is wrong, which it probably is, because when I was writing this video, Tommy C joined a stream from YouTuber Big Bon G and said there was a girl involved that complained to Boogie about the stuff Frank allegedly did to her. Is there a chance in hell that he turned down that because, I mean, he does some dumb stuff. He supposedly had Frank Hassel dead to rights and he wouldn't do it because, yeah, well, he's, I don't know about that either. But I mean, he didn't do it because of the, the girl who complained about him or whatever. I'm still inclined to think that Boogie is lying about Frank Castle. Like the retard said he didn't have any damn proof. You know, Boogie was like, I don't have any proof, but it's real. Anyways, if you enjoyed, subscribe and like. And if you didn't enjoy the video, dislike and let me know in the comments if I got anything wrong or what you disagreed with. As it is my first time doing research and recording a video like this. Also, shout out Big Bon G and Turkey Tom. Big inspirations for this video. Sniff 10, this is for you. Bye. I'm clinically diagnosing you as a fat liar. Yeah. Nick.